Well, as you can see, the weather is absolutely terrible. Hey, babe, how do you feel about the weather? Suck, yes, I agree. Anyway, we are going to be going to the Studio Ghibli Museum today. For those of you who don't know what that is, a uh, very, very famous cartoonist Hayao Miyazaki and all his great works like Laputa, Castle in the Sky, Kazu no Tani no Naushika, you know, the Naushika of the Valley of the Wind. Maybe most famous one is My Neighbor Totoro or Spirited Away or maybe uh, Princess Mononoke. Anyway, you'll see. Thing is, you're not allowed to take photos in there, which is a pain in the ass. So, going to just have to try our best to sneak a little bit of footage for you. And of course, it's going to be pretty crappy in the rain. It's supposed to have a whole lot of nice outdoor sections where you can take photos, but we won't be able to. Anyway, we're going to go and meet my friend Dark afterwards in Shinjuku. And that should be quite cool. So. You get to meet him. He does the Japan How It Is videos. You know, he's a friend of mine from back in South Africa from years and years and years and years ago. And he moved to Japan just, I think, slightly after I moved to China. So, yeah, it'd be nice to introduce him to all of you. Anyway, guys, it's uh, time for us to keep on moving, so let's do it. Right, so after arriving, we decided we'd go and grab some lunch. Now there's something very, very interesting about Japan, and that is a lot of restaurants require you to order your food from a vending machine. Now, I thought this was a little strange at first, but the reason for this is there is a law that if you handle money, you can't prepare food, you have to wash your hands first. So what they do is they have these vending machines, so you pay for whatever it is you want, you choose it on the vending machine, it's actually really cool because you can add extra cheese or add extra vegetables or whatever. And then it prints out tickets, which you then give to the person behind the counter and they will prepare the food for you. And because they haven't touched money, they don't have to wash their hands. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, double cheese. That's what I like to see. So after what can only be described as a pretty fantastic lunch, we took the cat bus to the Studio Ghibli Museum. So unfortunately you're not allowed to take photos inside, so we may have to sign off somewhere here. If I get a chance. Okay, so unfortunately there's no way I can take photos inside. They're very strict. Uh, they also have cell phone jam jammers in action. You can't use your phone. They ask you to turn your phone off. But it's probably better that way. It's really good to experience yourself. If you are into the, the Studio Ghibli cartoons or the Miyazaki cartoons, it's so worth your while to come here and take a look. It's absolutely wonderful. They've got a short film that they play in there. It's different every time and uh, it's really freaking cool. One thing that you've got to take into consideration is there's no English written every, anywhere, it's all in Japanese. So it's got a little guidebook that's got a little bit of English on it, but if you don't, if you can't read Japanese or you don't speak Japanese, well, you don't have to, you can just look around, but you won't be able to understand what any of the signs are saying. So there's a limit to the amount of people they allow in at a time. So when you buy your ticket, you have to reserve a time and then you have a certain amount of time before you kind of have to leave and they let the next lot of people in. Right, it was time to head off to Shinjuku, probably the most famous area of Tokyo. It's known for shopping, nightlife and it's constant hustle and bustle. Yeah, it's pretty cool here. It's very busy, lots of shopping. There's a big red light district just around the corner and uh, you know, the tallest skyscrapers in Tokyo are here. One of the things I love about Japan is the fact that you've got shrines and temples located in the downtown metropolitan areas. It's incredibly pretty here. Okay. 
So I'm here with Doc. Ten years, haven't seen this guy. Yeah. Well, we knew each other years and years and years ago, right? Okay, now let's count. Yeah. 2002. That's, that's the first time? Okay. If so I graduated high school 2001, I met you my first year of university. That would be 2002. So, since 2002, and he's been in Japan for about as long as I've been in China, more or less. Right? Yeah, a year or so, plus minus. So, check his videos out, because he does a Japan How It Is series. <laughs> Need help? I can take a photo. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, cheers. First cheers. Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got to get you on on camera as well. If you have anything to say to the internet, now is your chance. So, since Dark knows Tokyo really well, he took us all around the interesting areas in Shinjuku, including places like Golden Gai, which means Golden Street, and finally we ended up going for dinner. Alright, so uh, where are we going to eat? In here, it's called Omoide Yokochuko. Ah, oh, very nice. In the heart of Shinjuku. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. So, Winston, it's up to you. Pick whatever you want. And I don't know, a place where you can sit down and have some, maybe some yakitori or something and uh, a namabiri. <laughs> it's up to you? Well, no, I'm gonna throw that back at you and say you, you recommend since you know this place. I've only been to two places in the Yokocho. So the weird thing is, the people running this restaurant are Chinese, so I could order all the food in Chinese, which is really funny. Okay, so a lot of people are wearing masks here, okay, and uh, Dark's going to explain to us why they're wearing masks. So why are people wearing masks? At this time of the year, the vast majority of people, myself included, wearing masks have allergies. Um, whatever the tree is, whether it's hinoki, whether it's... Um, well, I suppose all this, kaide, all this all the trees are blooming. Yeah. yeah, I actually am one of the few unfortunate people who are allergic to a certain breed of sakura. Yay me! Yeah, it really was a lot of fun to catch up with Dark again. We had a really fun time. Anyway, it was time to say goodbye, and that's it for this episode, guys. I will see you in the next one, and until then, as always, stay awesome. <laughs>